Yeah, well, Paul, two one uh, defeat, but your team certainly had chances to win the match. We did, yeah. Not two ways about it. We were disappointed with the manner of the goals. The second one in particular, we've gave three fouls away straight one after the other. We know that the lad McCourt's got good delivery. Uh so we're very frustrated at that. But uh on the counter I think we had several chances. I think we've got to do better in the final third. And it's easy for people who've lost the game two one to look at the back four or the defensive set up of the team and yes we're disappointed at losing goals but I think we've got to do better in the final third. What was your view? Was it a foul on Teixeira in the build up to the opening goal? Uh, to be honest, Keith, I can't even remember it. Uh, on the halfway line. It could have possibly been. Listen, I, I don't want to come and talk about officials, but we've had. Uh, I think we had him earlier on in pre-season, and he was the one that squared up to to bask in the the game. So, uh, no, we were we were disappointed with particularly our work in the transition. We knew that there would be tran uh, opportunities in transition. We we got CC into some good good positions that he couldn't quite have that final pass uh, got kills round about the box at times listen the pitch was quick but no we, I think we just lacked that little bit at the, at, at, in the final third I thought, you, I thought you worked the ball really well though you know it's one of those surfaces that you you perhaps need sprinters on in, in sort of 4G surfaces yeah we tried to we tried to pass it uh, as we try and do listen I want to try and start games in the front foot we want to play forward quickly early on in the game you've got to it's an old cliche but you Listen, it doesn't matter what level you play at, you've got to earn the right to play. And uh, and I think at times our quality, maybe putting balls down the sides or whatever, wasn't quite as good as what it's been previously. So we were disappointed with that. We're disappointed overall, but listen, we've, we've got to pick ourselves up. This, the one thing that this group's always done is always always bounce back. They've got the character to do that. Again, 1-0 down at half-time, we come back one each. And I think we've got to at least try and respect and get a, get a point here, but uh, listen, we'll we'll try and bounce back on Saturday. How encouraged are you with the players coming back to the fitness? Yeah, we've listen. I won't lie to you, Keith. Last night I was sitting about half six, seven o'clock, and we're staring at nine players that were struggling. Uh, a couple of them managed to come through tonight. Ads was struggling a little bit. Uh, Nathan Cameron had pulled out. Kyle Hawkins had pulled out. Uh, Babs was was ill during the week. Uh, sorry, at the weekend, that's why I wasn't in the squad. So, plus you've obviously still got the ones that are ready out. But that's listen, that's part of the game. I, that's just that's life. We've, uh, I've not moaned about it previously, and I'm not not going to moan about it now. I think that the team I had on the pitch were well and truly. I think it was exactly the same as Banbury, apart from from Ollie. Well, I thought you were actually stronger with the, with the bench, uh, with the players you've got available. Yeah, the 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 bench again is normally. A, a sign of how strong your squad is, and if you look at the players we've, we've still got out, with, with Nathan Cameron and Kyle Hawkins have played a, a majority of games this year. Obviously, we've still got the experience of Willow on the side, and Jordan Lydon have got experience of that. So, we're excited for lo for those players to come back, but we've got to try and try in the meantime just try and pick up some some positive results from now to to Christmas, and then we'll see where we are. Different challenge for you, I would imagine, at the weekend, because as far as you are normally a direct team. Yeah, uh, my good mates, the, the manager there, I played with Clates a long time, so I burned them together and uh, I know he's still playing and it's going to be a difficult place, it's going to be completely different, they're going to be a, a lot more direct, they're going to be, the pitch I think's cut up, I've heard, it's, it's pretty bad, so we're going to have to go there and fight, Keith, we're going to have to go and roll our socks up, roll our sleeves up and, and go and fight like grown men, which, which this team are well and truly capable of, and then it's a matter of having that little bit of quality to, to try, and, try and get three points. Having said that, you've got pace down the flanks, which could work to your effect. Yeah, it could. We've got, obviously, CC. we've brought Jack on, Kobe's deserved to, to stay in the team after his Banbury performance. Uh, we've got options there. We've, we've, we'd obviously try and like to get a few more in terms of the maybe add to the forward line or bit more maybe experience up there. Obviously with Willow missing for a bit, maybe in another kind of CC type, but uh, our hands are tied at the moment. That's obviously something we can't do, but we're uh, we'll keep working away. The lads are, the lads are continuously continuously uh, sticking together. That's I'll be honest, that's the first time I've went into the dressing room and and I let the I let the boys crack on. I, I stood and I just let them have it out and, and and it was nice, it was nice and it's healthy to see that. There's no no grudges, there's no it's just people with opinions. Some I agree with, some I don't, but 
and the dressing room, there'll always be that platform to give their opinion. And it's important that you remain positive because it's, it's a crazy division. Uh, there's very few points from the bottom six to the top six. Yeah, listen, absolutely. We've we've lost a game of football, and right now it's obviously raw for me. I'm down in the dumps, but again, go back to where the group was four months ago. We've we've built a relationship with the supporters. That I think the club's not had for a while. They they can see that players are putting everything in. We we really really appreciate the support that we've had in the numbers with the average attendances. So there's a lot to be positive about. Uh, it's probably. Friday morning before I look at that. Thanks for your time. Cheers.